Hello, back at it, Castlevania. The no death run. Uh, oh shit. Let me check out my map. Uh, all right, we're in that red blinking room, and I think today I'm gonna head out and head up, cause if I remember that that there is a uh, there's a uh, shop. Which, if I plan on not dying this whole game, I'm gonna need to buy potions. Uh oh. Well, speak about not dying. I guess I was not aware that there was a boss battle. This could be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Do I have any potions to equip? Yes, I do. I do have a potion. Um, do I have anything else? Summons. I got monster files. Shield protection. Do I have any better weapons than what I'm using? I don't have anything. Alright. Well, here goes nothing. We'll see if we can do this. Do I at least have mat? I have no magic. Yeah. Fuck. This could be it right here. Not looking good. Shit. Yo, he is fucking me up. Oh my god, come on. I don't have... Yo, that is some bullshit. Got him! Oh! I was a little nervous about that, not having any fucking magic. Only one potion. I remember, I remember that the last time I played, I remember this fight, and I had full magic, and it made this fight just very easy. This time, no magic. It is what it is. Let's go back and heal up. Surprisingly, it wasn't that hard. He's more annoying than anything. Because he had, like, a limited amount of magic. Not bad, though. than whatever I have, not by much. My stack goes up, my attack goes up only one. Yeah. Yeah. Shit! I didn't want to go this way. Fuck. There's no way for me to get, go back up that way. Uh. <laughs> 
I like how the new Castlevanias, uh, the ones that came out after this, regenerate your magic over time so you don't have to keep collecting these hearts. Also, in the new Castlevanias, they do added, uh, you can get the souls of, uh, enemies that you fight. And that will give you one of their attack powers instead of collecting, like, in this game you got the axe, the knife, and all that shit. The other game you get, uh, you get magic based off of enemies you kill from the souls you collect. And it makes it fun. It kind of gives it that collectathon kind of vibe. Like, in the other game, if you kill that skeleton so many times, you're able to throw that skeleton bone. And I think this is... Yes. You are where I want to go. But I think that there's a save point up. Oh, fuck you. Uh, the worst enemy coming up, and that's the Medusa. The Medusa head, because they, they turn you into uh, a uh, skull or stone, and you can't move, and it's just so fucking annoying. Ooh, that's the wolf power. I think this might be the save point. No, it's not. But this allows us to teleport. Those, uh... So I just opened a fast travel spot, which is good for backtracking. Got more help. Ooh. All right, so now I can travel from yellow to yellow. Backtracking great. But we're gonna head back to where I was originally. Because I wanna see if I can get to the shop. And that's pretty much my goal for today. I like how you have to earn fast travel in this game. I don't like uh, Dark Souls you get the the newer Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 1. They have fast travel right from the start, and I, I, I just kind of think man, I like having the backtrack. Damn, this guy showed me shit. Oh man, that was the one th another thing about Castlevania the show. They didn't have one Medusa head in that whole show. They didn't have either one of those short guys. He was damn. I might, I might have to, I might have to rethink about heading off right now. I only got 43 percent health left. Or 43 health left. That'd be terrible. No. Well, I think I'm coming up to the checkpoint. I think there's a checkpoint if I keep going on. 
And there we have it. Alright. Well, that'll be it for now. The next goal is to definitely unlock that shop. Stash up on some potions. Alright.